Dear friends, I am a mechanical engineer specialized in piping engineering. This mechanical engineering advanced course is for those who wants to make their career in health and nutrition, pharmaceutical, oil and gas and chemical industries etc. I want to add one more thing is that for you to become a piping engineer you must have a degree in mechanical engineering. This mechanical engineering advanced course will be beneficial for both fresh mechanical engineering graduate and working professional. Today I will give you our view of the things that you should know and after that I will teach you each and everything in detail. First I will tell you who is piping engineer. Actually piping engineer means stress engineer, layout engineer, material engineer. I mean piping engineer is the combination of all these three stress, layout and material. Even if you know how to do stress analysis then you are a stress engineer. If you know how to make a plot plan, how to make GAD and these things then you are a layout engineer. It means for layouting your visualization power should be very strong. And material engineer means the one who select the material of equipment, pipe and etc. Now one more thing I'll add. For you to become only a stress engineer, you must have a good concept in a strength of material. For you to become a layout engineer, you must have a good visualization ability. For you to become a material engineer, you must have a strong basic knowledge in material science. If you know all these three, it means you are an expert piping engineer. Dear friends, please watch it till the end and if you feel it is beneficial for you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So, we'll go in the next slide. So, what are the industries where you can get job after completing this course? After completing this course, you will get job in health and nutrition, pharmaceutical, oil and gas, and chemical industries, etc. So, these are the piping fundamentals. I, I won't go in detail today just let's have a overview of everything so these are piping design consideration actually this you can see this is a pfd and this one is pnid means piping and instrumentation diagram this is these are pipe supports and this is plot plan this is pipe wall thickness calculation chart. This is how we do a stress analysis. This is a stress analysis chart. So what should be the role of stress engineer and these things will check later. So what are the software that we use for doing the stress analysis? So the most popular one is Caesar 2. What are the input required for doing the stress analysis? So these are the documents for doing the stress analysis. This is how PNID looks like. Process and instrumentation diagram. This is also known as piping and instrumentation diagram. This is piping layout. This is the continuation of previous slide. These are the steps that you need to do the stress analysis in Caesar 2. This is classic piping inputs means this is the interface of Caesar 2 software. Here you have to give input then you will see the output here. This is errors and warning check interface. There will be two types of error. One will be fatal error that you have to remove it anyhow 
and another will be geometrical error. So it depends upon the client whether they want it to remove or they want it to leave. So this is the load cases and batch run calculation. Actually, we have to make the load combinations like sustained case will be there, occasional case will be there, then operating case will be there, expansion case will be there, these things will be there. Checking the flowing things to qualify the system means the stress which is coming by doing the stress analysis, whether is it in the allowable limit or not. So this allowable stress, we get it from SME B31.3, I mean American Society of Mechanical Engineers. From there, SME B31.3 is used for process piping. Continuation of the previous slide. This is overall view of stress analysis system. This we finalize before sending it to the client. This is client Landel Basel. This is also PNID. So this is piping 3D layout. Actually, this is the screenshot that I have taken for you to show. Actually, this I have taken from Naviswork. So Naviswork actually a reviewing software for piping engineers. This is also the continuation of previous slide. This is how piping isometrics look like. Actually, this you see here is a 3D expansion loop. What is why we give 3D expansion loop? That also we'll see. This is also piping isometric. This is the final drawing. This is the construction drawing. Only these drawings are sent to the site for the fabrication purpose. This is the line list. In this line list, design pressure, design temperature, operating temperature, codes will be given what is the service. Service means medium, fluid. So after doing the stress analysis, this is how it looks like. See the behavior of the pipe. See, this is after doing the analysis, how the pipe behaves. This is why this is because of the expansion of the pipe. We'll go into the detail of each and everything one by one. Okay, thank you everyone. Once again, I'm telling you if it is beneficial for you, please like, subscribe and share my channel to everyone. Thank you.